Welcome back to Cooking with B. On this episode, we're going to be making the easiest, most delicious spinach artichoke dip. Um, last week, we used it and actually stuffed chicken breast with it and made a dinner out of it. Um, normally, I would just make it as a party dip. It's uh, one of the most requested in my family. So come cook with me. So for today's ingredients, we're going to need the following. So I found that if we just use um, fresh baby spinach, it actually um, goes faster. You can definitely use the frozen spinach, just make sure that you wring it out very, very well. And then just one can of just regular artichoke hearts quartered, one brick or bar of cream cheese. Here is our four cloves of garlic. We buy the garlic cloves already mashed and smashed, and they actually come in these cute little ice, or, um, ice cubes. Of course, some mozzarella. We add a little heat with our crushed red pepper. Italian seasonings. And then this is just my mix of um, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. So let's get going. I also forgot to mention you're gonna need a little bit of olive oil to saute the spinach in. So start just with a tablespoon or two of the olive oil. You're gonna dump in all that yummy fresh spinach. You'll be amazed at how much it's actually going to cook down. So this pan doesn't look big enough, but you'd be surprised. I already hear it start to sizzle. Look at all that green yumminess. Push it down a little bit. Now we're gonna hit it with our salt, pepper, garlic mix. You're gonna have to be aggressive with this. So I'd say at least three to four tablespoons of salt, pepper, garlic. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cover that so that some of the steam can help wilt down that spinach and start it cooking. All right, so we're about three minutes in. We're just gonna start stirring up so that those seasonings get incorporated, that spinach continues to cook down. So you can see the ones on the bottom are really starting to get small and wilted. Look, I'd say it's already reduced about half in size, and it's going to continue to reduce. All right, so two minutes have passed, and let's see where the spinach is at. Almost there. So there's very little liquid left, but you can see all the spinach has cooked down. It actually smells incredible with all those seasonings in there. And the olive oil. So now we're gonna go ahead and take that brick of cream cheese and put it on in there and smush it down a little. And start to get that going. Um, I let my cream cheese sit out just a little bit so that it almost was room temperature so it should make it easier to cook down. All 
All right, so you can see that we've got that cream cheese brick almost all the way incorporated. We're gonna go ahead and shut off the heat, add in those cloves of garlic, get those going. Add in some of our Italian seasonings. I'd probably say two tablespoons or so. Now, this is the special surprise, crushed red pepper flakes. So depending on your taste, you don't have to add in any. We do like it a little hot, so I'd have to say that's probably a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And my tip of the week is, this is actually just a little baby mason jar, and this is a top to one of my Parmesan containers that was already done. So you can see that it screws on very nicely to the jar, and then you've got the sprinkle side and the big pour side, so you can reuse. The size also works on the smaller mouth mason jars as well. So that was my reuse tip of the week. Reuse, recycle. All right, it's really smelling incredible. Almost done. So you can see how fast this is actually coming together. All right, we've got all that stirred in. You can see that the garlic has melted down, did its thing. Now we're gonna go ahead and stir in those artichoke parts. You can see this is just a little over a cup and we just chopped them into some rough bits. You still wanna have some size to them so that you know what you're eating. Stir those all in. Almost there. All right. Last ingredient, your mozzarella. The shri shredded mozzarellas. Boom. So if you're gonna go ahead and stuff anything, you can stuff um, some nice thick pork chops also with this. Like I said, we did it with chicken breast. Um, you just take that chicken breast and slice it lengthwise and then butterfly it open. Um, what I did is I actually made the dip and then put it in a container in the fridge to let it cool down so that it was easier to work with um, when I was stuffing. So that's something I would suggest. All right, that's well incorporated. Smells phenomenal. I'm gonna do a taste test and then we're gonna put it in the oven. I wanna make sure our seasonings are spot on. So I got a little bit of everything in that bite. A little spinach, a little artichoke, definitely cream cheese and mozzarella. Mmm, perfect. Mmm, just the right a bit of garlic in there too, and definitely crushed red pepper. Not seeing a help with this stupid cold that I got. All right, push that off to the side for a moment. Just got a Pyrex baking dish. Give it a little spray just to be safe. And pour that in. Smooth it out. Give it a nice tappy tap.
and then I just add just a little sprinkle of the seasonings right on top. All right, so, so we're gonna pop this into a preheated 350 degree oven for approximately 30 minutes just to get it all nice and melty. Be right back. And we're back. So the spinach artichoke dip was in the oven for about 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Let's look what it, let's look together to see what it looks like. Look at that. All right, so we've gone ahead and put a little on a chip and let's do our taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Everything came together in the oven. The mozzarella is nice and gooey. The cream cheese gives it also a nice creaminess. You've got the spinach that's cooked with the garlic. And then the crushed bad pepper comes in at the end. Fantastic. So, thanks again for joining me. Keep looking, keep continuing to watch for more yummy recipes. Thanks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys do, what you guys change, or if you stuff anything different with us, I'd love to hear about it. So thanks again and be well. Bye.